Hi friends. So this is it's funny. I recorded this video once, and uh, I found that my audio was not working. So I have this is the second time I'm doing this one. <laughs> so uh, and this one I will. <laughs> okay, it's kind of. I have to do it again. Um, so in this uh, this what I will be doing is that I will be cover I will cover the get content command commandlet in PowerShell, and this is going to be a four part tutorial. Uh, so in each part, I'll cover different parts of it. So for the first part, uh, <laughs> let's get started once again. Now, what I have in here is that uh, in my documents directory, I have a file, this one called log, log file .txt. Now, this file, let me show you, show it to you guys in uh, Notepad as well. So this is this one, log file. So this was my file. It has six lines. This is line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, line six. So now if I want to view this content in PowerShell, how do I do that? So I can type in the get content command and then after that, the name of the file. So you can see that uh, in here, it shows me the contents of that file. This in here. Now, what if I'm not in that directory? So let's say right now I am in my uh, admin directory. So if I want to view that file, one way of doing it is to uh, type in the complete path. So C users admin documents and then um, the name of the file log file. So why isn't it working? C users. Oh, so yeah. Let's get content, not get content. So now you can see that this shows me uh, the same files, the same lines in the files. So you don't have to be in the same directory, you can navigate also. So I will just go to this directory because this way it will be shorter for me and easier to type in. Now let's say I want to find out uh, the number of the lines that are in that file. So for this I type in get content, the name of the file, and then I pass it to the uh, measure object commandlet. So now if I type this, you can see that it uh, says six. So it says that you have six, what it means is that I have six um, lines in this file so it's not that one this one so in the if i add in another like this is line seven and i go in there and save it now if i run this command again now you can see that since i added one more line it is not it is seven so this is how you can find the number of lines in a particular file another thing that uh, is that uh, let's say you want to uh, view only the first three lines so for this all you have to do is get content and after that you type in the name of the file and then you pass in this <coughs> total count argument and then you say let's say three it uh, this in here it shows me the first three lines of the file this is line one two and three if you want to view the first two you can see that it uh, shows me the first two lines so you can change it view however many lines that you want to view uh, but what if you want to view only the last few lines so let me clear the screen first so you, all, you, uh, you type in this get content command the name of your file after that you pass it to the or you pipe it out to the select object commandlet and then you type in this uh, you uh, type in this last argument and then let's say three you can see that it shows me the last three lines this this is line five six and seven if I change it to four, it shows me the last four lines in the file. Now, let's say that um, you want to sort the contents of a. So let me clear the screen. Now, let's say you want me to sort. Uh, let's say you want to sort the contents of a file. So let me open this. And here I have created another file. This is called vowels the file. So in here uh, I have written the names of these. Uh, I have typed in these uh, words like orange apple, umbrella ice cream, uh, egg. So all of these words in here starts with an vowel or orange is for, uh, o is for orange and a apple. So you can see that it's not in a specific order. So let's say we want it uh, to be in an alphabetical order. So A counts first, then E, I, O, U. So that's how the alphabets in English alphabets are in an alphabetical order. So A, E, I, O, U. So however, in here it is not. So what if you want to do that? <coughs> So for this we type in this command and the name of the file was vowels and then we sort it so we pipe it out to the sort object commandlet now in here you can see that uh, 
let me type and let me retrieve the contents of it first also so in here you can see originally it is o a u it's not in any order however now if you see it it is uh, like this like a e i o u so it is in a specific order so or uh, let me go in here uh, let me create another file and let's just name it something like uh, numbers and if I type in something like five two three one and then four now save it close it <coughs> now if I say get content so let me clear the screen first now if I say get content numbers so you can see that it's not in any order however if I do this sort object you can see that it is in a specific order one two three four five so this is the different ways that you can view or manipulate the contents of the file this is part one so in the next three parts uh, I will cover some other things about it so in the next uh, uh, tutorial after this I will cover uh, how to get the contents of a file using arrays so by default when you view this it is in an array so using an array how you can uh, get a specific uh, file or all of the uh, files so if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to put it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one